Mike, thanks. We're joined by the nation's leading rusher from a year ago, Jonathan Taylor. And Jonathan, while we're on the topic of last season, I know you had a spectacular year for your team. Wasn't quite the year that you imagined it might be. Ranked number four in the preseason, ended up going eight and five. What do you think needs to change for this team to meet the expectations that I know you set for yourselves? Really, I think we just need to refocus. It's a new year, new new chapter, new team, new role. So I think we just need to focus in and fall camp, have everyone earn and find their role. And then going into the season, each and every single game, everyone execute into the fullest of their potential at 100% each and every single rep and game, and things will fall into place. We're speaking with Coach Chris today, and he talked about there are things that everyone on the team can improve on, including Jonathan. So what are those things? What do you work on here in camp? Uh, really in camp, had a chance to really improve on the third down, being consistent in that. Um, freshman year, I was kind of a first and second down back. Sophomore year, learned it and showed flashes of it throughout the season. So this year, really working on being able to put that on tape consistently. You're not a young guy anymore. So what has been the biggest lesson you've learned about college football in, in the past two years? One of the biggest lessons I've learned throughout my years here is really that you have to work every single day. Uh, once you begin to stop working, then you tend to see you yourself go on a downward trend. Um, if you're at the top and, you know, you feel like you're at the top of your game and you decide to, you know, take off a day, oh, I, I'm, I'm pretty much good right now, then you start to see yourself on a downward trend. So you have to make sure that you stay sharp on, on yourself every single day and make sure you mind tap yourself that there's someone out there working just as hard as you. How do you know when you're ready, though? Because I understand the workload they're going to put you through. They're going to take care of you, make sure you're ready uh, for opening day. But how do you know physically when you're ready? You really know you're ready. Once you step on the field and you look at the guys in the huddle and you, you see the look in their eye, and once you get the play call, you do all your thinking up front. Once you do all your thinking up front, once the ball snaps, there's no more thinking, then it's time to go. That's how you really know when you're ready, when you do all your thinking up front, and then you know you can just go out there and cut it loose. So I'm a high school senior last year. I'm following the Jonathan Taylor story, right? I mean big name, Heisman Trophy and all that, and then I come to camp and I'm in camp with him and he comes to you for advice. What is it? Uh, one thing I would tell people, freshmen coming in, is just be a sponge. You never know what your role is going to be. You never know what you're going to be asked to do. So when you come in, just be a sponge. Absorb everything that you're being asked to do. Absorb everything you're being told so that no matter what you're being asked to do, you're able to execute it and you, you, know, you won't be a fall off. You'll be able to plug and play. Talk to us a little bit about what's happening at quarterback. You, know, you guys look like you, you were really crisp today, particularly in 7-on-7. I don't think any balls were on the ground. How have those guys been developing? Those guys have been developing well. I think they've been doing that pretty much well within themselves, being able to compete with one another. I think competition brings out the best in you. So I feel like with those guys competing how they do, I mean, like Chase will throw a ball, and then Mertz will throw a ball, and then uh, Jack will throw a ball, and, you know, they're all trying to make the same kind of throw because they saw the other one do it. So I feel like that competition is really helping them out a lot. Along the same lines, the offensive line lost a, a ton of starts and production from last year. Give us a sense of how you've seen that group come together in front of you. Uh, I think it's been really good, especially with uh, Biotis being kind of the anchor, being able to, to guide those younger guys and being able to make sure that they know the cause, they know where they're supposed to be, they know their assignment. So that was really big for us and having an older guy like Tyler who's smart like that to be able to take charge. Jonathan Taylor, star running back here for Wisconsin. Thanks a lot, Jonathan. Have a great season. Thank you very much.